Hi there, this is Brenda from Mainly Hybrid Homesteading. I'm so glad you're here. I'm going to be sharing with you another recipe in our series of Christmas cookies. This is recipe number two. We're going to be doing marble bark today and if you can use a microwave then you can do this recipe. <laughs> We're just going to be melting uh, some chocolate and a couple different kinds of chocolate and uh, mixing them together to make some pretty uh, chocolate pieces. Very simple, um, even if you're just giving this as a single <clears throat> recipe or a treat, it'll be greatly appreciated by whoever gets it, um, or it can be a nice addition to a cookie platter that you're making. I use, um, I like to use name brand chocolate chips. I find that the store brands have like a waxy kind of flavor. Um, so I use a name brand and I just buy whatever's on sale. And uh, this year, Nestle uh, chocolate chips were a good deal at our local um, grocery store, Hannaford. So I have some dark chocolate here, which I have already melted and it's nice and smooth. And I just microwaved it at 30 second intervals. And I think that only took me one minute, maybe a minute and a half. Uh, and then I have some white chocolate chips that I'm going to um, do the same thing with. You don't really want to like put this in for a minute or a minute and a half because that's what you think it's going to last because you do want to stir it at those intervals and you don't want to burn your chocolate because there's no going back after it's burnt. <laughs> then it's going in the trash. Uh, so let's get this in the microwave. So I had already melted it for uh, about 30 seconds and it's just barely starting to melt. So we're gonna do another 30 seconds. This is very simple to do. I prepared a cookie sheet, just put some wax paper on it and that's what we're gonna be putting our chocolate on. Then it's gonna go in the fridge and we're gonna let it harden. Then we'll do the finished product. Okay, so after one minute, you can see that it is starting to melt. There's still some chunks in there. So it needs a little more time. And actually there's a big chunk in the middle, so let's see if we can break that up a little. Okay, let's do another 30 seconds. So your microwave may be different strengths than mine. So you may need less time or you may need more time. Uh, just if you want to be safe, you can do like 15 second intervals, minute and a half, and I think it's gonna be ready. I find the white chocolate tends to be a little more delicate. I think it would benefit from shorter intervals. Okay, so there we are. So a minute and a half. So once you have all your chocolate melted, I usually put uh, the first chocolate that I'm using, I'll just put that as the base. And then we're just gonna spread it out evenly over the wax paper. You can make it as thick or as thin as you like. It's all gonna be good. <laughs> so the second one, I just put like um, dollops of the other chocolate. You could use milk chocolate if you prefer that. You could add nuts if you if you're okay with nuts. You could even put some sprinkles on the top of it once you're um, all done spreading it out. Or maybe even some uh, Christmas colored sugar. <laughs> so this is the fun part right here. I'm just gonna move my spoon along and it just makes lovely 
patterns in the chocolate, just the swirl effect. My mouth is watering just looking at it. <laughs> Very pretty. Looks like you spent days making it. <laughs> okay. We are going to get a close up of this. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Just beautiful. So I am going to put this in the refrigerator on a level surface, whether it's on top of a couple jars or on an empty shelf if I have room. And, and then I'm going to take it out of the fridge and bake, break it up into pieces. And we'll stay tuned for that part. All right. So our chocolate's been in the fridge and it's now it's hard. And we're just going to break it up into pieces however you want the size of the pieces to be. And again, I'm just gonna keep this in the refrigerator until um, I'm ready to gather up all my other goodies. I'm just wearing uh, gloves. This is a sanitary measure. If I'm giving stuff away, I don't want um, want it to be sanitary and especially with the chocolate you usually can put your uh, fingerprints in there so as I said even just giving this to someone as a in a little goodie bag or with some other cookies it's just beautiful <laughs> so simple if you can use a microwave you can make this and quick and easy stay tuned for recipe number three